today we are going to add whole numbers. Here's my first example. Whenever we are adding, it's important that we keep everything lined up. So I'm going to even add these lines right here. That our ones are in the same column, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, and so on. That everything's lined up. When we are adding, we actually start on the right side and move to the left. The opposite of when we read and do a lot of other things, where we start on the left and go to the right. So I'm going to start with my ones. So I have two ones plus seven ones. That's going to equal nine. And I'm going to add my tens. I have eight tens plus four tens, which equals twelve. But there's only room down below for one digit in each spot, and I have 12, so that's not going to fit. So if I have 12 tens, I can combine 10 of those tens and make 100. So I'm going to take that 12, take away 10 tens, make 100. So I put that in my 100 spot. Since I had 12 and I got rid of 10 to make 100, I have two tens left. So I put the 2 in the 10 spot, because I could make 100, and I had two 10s left. Now I have my 100 spot. I have 100 plus 5 plus 6, which equals 12 hundreds. So same thing, I can't fit 12 into my 100 spot. It only fits one digit. So I can take 10 of my hundreds and make 1,000. Then I have 2 hundreds left, so that goes in my hundred spot. Now we add our thousands, one thousand plus two thousand plus three thousand equals six thousand. It's always important that we check our work. One way you can check your work is you can estimate, like we did in our last lesson. So I'm just going to estimate this the easiest way possible with my greatest place value. So my thousands, so 2,582 becomes 3,000, and 3,647 becomes 4,000. I add these, I get 7,000. So my answer, my sum of 6,229 is close to 7,000, so I'd say that is pretty reasonable. So I'm done with that example. One more example, add numbers up to the 10,000 spot this time. I'm not going to draw my lines to divide it since I have it color coded, that already kind of helps me. So I'm going to start again with my ones and work my way from the right to the left. So 6 plus 4 is 10. I can't fit 10 in my ones place value, so I can turn that 10 into 110 which means I have nothing left over, no ones left. I add my tens. One plus three plus five is nine. That fits, so I'm good. My hundreds, two plus nine is eleven. So I can take ten of those eleven and make one thousand. Then I have one hundred left. Add my thousand column. 1 plus 4 plus 1, 6,000. Add my 10,000s column, 5 plus 2 is 7. So I get 76,190 as my sum. My instructions say add, estimate to check your work. So I'm going to estimate these. So I'm going to round each number. Once again, I'm going to do it to the greatest place value, unless it tells me otherwise. So 54,236 will become 50,000. 21,954 will be 20,000. I add those, I will get 70,000, which is very close to 76,190. Now that I've done two examples. Time for you to try some. So, same instructions. 
You're going to add each of these two numbers, and then you're going to estimate to check your work. Pause it, then unpause it when you're done. Okay, let's start with this first one. 857 plus 134. 7 plus 4 is 11. Carry the 1. We have 1, 1 left. Add our tens column. 1 plus 5 plus 3 is 9. 8 plus 1 is 9. And to check our work, we get 900 plus 100, which is 1,000, which is very close to 991. Second problem. At our 1s, 4 plus 3 is 7. At our 10s, 2 plus 9 is 11. So we can make 100 and have 110 left. At our 100s, 1 plus 1 plus 7 is 9. 5 plus 6 is 11. So we can make actually a 10,000 out of that one. And we have 1,000 left. That 10,000 plus no other 10,000 just moves straight down. So we get 11,917. Estimate to check our work. 5,124 equals 5,000. 6,793 equals 7,000. We add those together to get 12,000, which is very close to 11,917, so we know that each of our answers are reasonable. Now you're ready for just two problems that you're going to do for this lesson and bring them in and show me tomorrow. Your first problem is 4,321 plus 1,793. Your second problem is 28,158 plus 31,932. Add each of these and estimate to check your work. Thank you for listening, and have a great night.